Good morning and welcome back to Adventure Planet where today I'm back here at the Chessington World of Adventures Resort for their summer event. Yeah, this is their third Wilderfest event taking place here today. Now I was here actually just a couple of months ago where I filmed a full park vlog and also reported on all the Mardi Gras entertainment. And if you haven't seen that vlog yet, it can be found in the Chessington World of Adventures playlist right here on the channel. Today though, it's all about Wilderfest, the themed food and drinks, the entertainment and all the shows around the park. So we're going to be checking all that out today as well as reporting on those all important queue times for the summer. Now if you want to come down and experience Wilderfest for yourself, you're looking at about £37 for entry and it's £8 to park your car here. Park hours today, 10am all the way through until 6pm. Let's head on in and catch some Wilderfest entertainment. And here we are at the entrance to the resort then, and yeah, as per usual, they got the big logo across this green fence here, nice big Wilderfest logo with the music notes, yeah, it looks really nice. All nicely themed up around the entrance with all the colours. Jeeps themed up really nice as well. And yeah, I've got to say, I love these reeds. Yeah, these are really nice. Yeah, I really like that. We've got the elephants out as well. And if we take a quick look to see what we've got in terms of entertainment then, the main stage features Who Headlines You Decide, which is the main stage show for today, but they also have separate shows of these guys as well. Turtle Talk, Justin Bieber and Dolly Barton. They all basically perform at once in this main stage show here. And on the adventure stage, you've got DJ Sharky as per the norm, as well as on the Banyan stage, you've got the Croc and Rollers and some specialty acts as well. And then on the mini stage for the kids, you've got meet and greets with Coco Melon and JJ. You've also got some giggling games with the Gruffalo as well. And the meet and greets, 11.45 and 14.15. And it's a busy day here for Wilderfest at Chessington. Yeah, I think most people avoided yesterday the Saturday because we had some really bad weather across the south of the UK yesterday so I think they've all decided to come today. We're expecting some periods of rain today but on the whole it should be pretty good. Unfortunately it looks like Dragon's Fury has just gone down. Oh dear, <laughs> not the best start. But yeah, if you are thinking of coming down to Wilderfest it runs from now through until the 3rd of September. Let's head on in to the world of Jumanji. Here we are at the world of Jumanji then. Yeah, still such a great area this. Let's go and have a quick look around. Like I say, I was here just a couple of months ago filming the Mardi Gras as well as the full park vlog. So I won't be doing too much around the park today, but I will just come in, have a look, see if there's any updates in here, and obviously get those all important queue times. Ostrich Stampede currently on 35 minutes. Now they are still operating the reserve and ride for Mandrill Mayhem. Nice and easy to do, just scan the QR code here. Or you can head to the Chessington Reserve and Ride website and book in your time. Now unfortunately as of right now, the queue line is full so I wasn't able to actually get a reservation. Like I say, it is going to be pretty busy today. You know, this planting here seems to be growing up already, look at the height of that. <laughs> Yeah, this is all good. This area in particular is going to look really nice once this is all grown up a little bit here. It all looks really nice and tidy around here. This is nice. Yeah, as you can see, the entrance to Mandrill Mayhem looking pretty busy. Yeah, have a little jump over here. Go and take a look at Mamba Strike. Yeah, these pathways are all looking quite clean, actually. Now, considering there's no kind of barrier or fencing or anything along here to just kind of keep all these wood chips in. They've actually done quite a nice job of keeping this all tidy. And there is Mamba Strike, both SPF Visa rides currently in operation, which is good to see. I wonder how long that'll last. <laughs> and Mamba Strike also on 35 minutes. Yeah, I love all this. This was really well done, this ride. This OBS cabin looks great as well. There we go, Mamba Strike. And apparently 
say I spoke too soon as Ostrich Stampede has now gone down. Technical issues and they've been waiting around about five minutes for engineers to turn up. Yeah, as I said in the last vlog, I still don't think SPF Visa were the best manufacturer to go to for these flat rides. And uh, yeah, every time I've come here, they've seen significant downtime, which is a shame. But uh, yeah, hopefully they get this up and running again soon. <laughs> oh dear. And I just thought I'd come and take a quick look at the Jumanji Food Supplies food outlet here. Currently closed, this will open up a little bit later on in the day, but I just wanted to see if the extortionate prices are still here. And unfortunately they are, 14 pounds for a giant turkey leg, 13.50 for the foot-long Krakauer hot dog. Now, like I say, for that kind of price, you can go to the smokehouse over at Adventure Point and get yourself a nice juicy brisket burger, a side of fries or something, and a drink for around about the same price. So my recommendation is not actually to get any food from here. Unless, of course, you do fancy a giant turkey leg. Then, of course, have at it. <laughs> And it really is a fantastically themed area, this one of the best in the UK, and it is still looking really, really well maintained today as well, which is great to see. Apart from the fact that there's no smoke effects coming out of the Jaguar's mouth, not quite sure what's happened with that. But yeah, that's no longer working. Ostrich Stampede back up in operation. However, now Mamba Strike has gone down. So yeah, the only real bad point about this area are those SPF Visa flat rides. I think it was the wrong decision to go for that manufacturer, but it is what it is. And hopefully they can keep those rides up and in operation as often as possible. With Mandrill Mayhem, I'll come back a little bit later on to get my reservation. It is first thing in the day, so it is gonna be quite busy here. We'll come back a little bit later on and I'll get a ride on that. For now, let's head to Shipwreck Coast. And here we are at Shipwreck Coast and another fantastically themed area here at Chessington World of Adventures. Now this area was new for last year. Dragon's Fury off to the left. Looks as though that's back testing at least. Got some empty trains going around after its downtime earlier on this morning. Yeah, it's a shame, like we said in the last vlog, it's a shame they've not yet repainted the track. These supports look great, really nice and fresh. Kind of a blood red. Yeah, it looks really nice, but the track is looking pretty grotty. Hopefully at the end of this year, they'll get around to doing the track as they've done the supports at the end of last year. Barrel bailout here, new ride that opened with the area last year from Zamperla. Hey! <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting to see too many people on this, to be honest, but uh, yeah, considering the weather, it's pretty popular. Yeah, you don't get too wet on there, though. And yeah, obviously the theming around here, as I say every time, is absolutely fantastic. Looks great. All the theming running across the top here all looks really, really nice. Yeah, fantastic. And of course, you've got the rocking tug down here as well, trawler trouble. And just a five minute wait time. I just caught that five minutes. <laughs> yeah, and this was obviously moved from the old town area of Fort Park. For opening in this location again all really well themed audio blaring out around here as well yeah it all sounds really really good and just through here you've also got blue barnacle let's check out the queue time for that i've had a look for the goats this morning they have baggot goats kind of in the uh, in the hills in the background just over here i'm um, not sure if it's to do with the weather but they're not around at the moment 15 minutes for blue barnacle that's not too bad that's not too bad at all Vampire's second lift hill over the back there. Nice to see that running at least. <laughs> Captain's fish and chips. Yeah, it's not too bad for food there. No stage here like there was for Mardi Gras. Not quite as much live entertainment in Wilderfest as there, are, as there is in Mardi Gras. We'll be checking out Festival Field a little bit later as well, which is where you'll find all the food trucks. Yeah, I love all this. All these little throwbacks here. It's a fantastic area, this.
Take her on it, go on. Yeah, really, really nice area. Got the old mast there, which looks great. And of course, we have Sea Storm here as well. And the Bubble Works wash house. <laughs> oh, I miss Bubble Works every time I come to Chessington. It would be great to see it back. A yeah, little news truck here as well. All these bits of theming looks really good. The old daily puzzle on the side. Yeah, really nice to see this keep kept up, well maintained. And Sea Storm at just a 10 minute wait. And we're at the adventure stage now then at Adventure Point, which is where you'll find DJ Sharky. Show times 11, 12.30, 2.30 and 4.30. And I've got to say, absolutely love what they've done with the stage here. Look at this. That's great, the old DJ Sharky logo on the top there. The trusses, the decor, <laughs> the mirror ball in the middle. Love the blue color as well. Yeah, we'll be coming back to catch this show a little bit later on. Hopefully he's got his bubble cannons on again. <laughs> yeah, we got all the entertainment out the front as well. Yeah, it looks great. Much better than what he had last year. Last year it was just kind of a little stage placed here, which didn't look all that impressive. But yeah, this looks great. Looking forward to seeing this show a little bit later on. Coming up next, though, will be highlights from the main show here to see who is going to headline. Let's go check it out over on the main stage. Highlights coming up. And here we are at the main stage then, just waiting to catch the main show here. And I've just been robbed by this guy. Look at the size of him. <laughs> Absolutely huge. Yeah, it's a shame that they've still got this temporary stage here at Chessington. I hope we're not going to have to wait too much longer to see something a little bit more permanent here. I was hoping that this was going to get done um, during the off season into 2023, but unfortunately it wasn't. So hopefully this is coming up soon. I haven't heard anything. If anyone knows anything, drop me a line in the comments. But yeah, this temporary stage is starting to look very tired. It started, it was looking pretty tired from the beginning, but uh, yeah, it'd be nice to see something a lot more permanent here. Yeah, you've got all the Wilderfest decorations around as well, the flags. Yeah, it all looks really nice. And like I say, coming up, highlights of the main show. lined up just for you. Now some of the Animal Kingdom's most famous acts have graced the stage, and this year's lineup will not disappoint. Who headlines? You decide! And Wilderverse 2023! Your three new finalists are Turtle Talk, Dolly Barton, and Justin Bieber. This will be the biggest performance of their lives. And in the end, only one can be crowned your Will the Best headliner. So make sure you clap, scream, and cheer for your favorite act. Now, it's nearly time for the show to begin. Are you all excited? Yeah! Well, sir, are you all excited? Yeah! I know you can be louder than that. Let me hear you make some noise.
now reveal that the winner of this year's Wilderfest is... Some highlights there then of the main show here at Wilderfest over at the main stage featuring three brand new acts, Turtle Talk, Dolly Barton and Justin Bieber. And I've got to say, that was a good show. A lot better than last year, I thought. Better singing, better audience kind of engagement as well, as well as you had the bubble effects and the streamers, which all kind of kicked it off nicely. Much higher energy, I thought, than last year. Yeah, really, really good. And of course, if there is a particular act there that you do like, they do all perform separately as well at various times throughout the park. Really, really solid show that about 20 minutes in length really really good to see come over to adventure point now to see dj sharky that's starting in about five minutes highlights coming up me dj sharky right here in adventure point i know everyone wants a piece of this bin so i'm back and i'm bringing you some bigger and better fantastic shoes Take you to the moon, baby. I take you to the place. Right here is my time for party. of the DJ Sharky show here at Adventure Point then. Yeah, really, really good. Good to see them all back. Great dancing. And of course, at the end of the show, you still have that foam party, getting everybody around nice and involved and the kids all getting really excited. And uh, yeah, it was quite a lot of foam there today, actually. I got pretty covered at the end of that. So good that the sun is kind of breaking through the clouds a little bit now. It's warming up. Gonna head across into Mexicana now, see what the queue time's like for Rattlesnake and see if there's any other updates for the Scorpion Express. Although I very much doubt it. And welcome to the radioactive pond. <laughs> I don't know what's happened here. This, this is more something for Halloween. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be this color or not. Never seen it such a bright green. Yeah, the chimp's confused as well. Yeah, no idea if it's supposed to be like this or what, but uh, yeah, it's pretty green. <laughs> and here we are in Mexicana then, where they seem to have erected this new kick the bucket thing here. Yeah, smash the football at the three buckets. One game, three pound, two games for five, five games for 10 pound or 10 games for 20 pound. Knock all three of the buckets off the plate in two shots to win one of these prizes here. Yeah, nice little pop-up game. The horse is still here. No decoration on him for Wilderfest though, which is a little bit of a shame. He looks a bit bare now. And Rattlesnake currently with a one hour wait time. Yeah, the 1998 Maurer Wild Mouse. Still very, very popular here at Chessington. And of course you can book all your VIP experiences just off to the right here at the hub. All your reserve and ride tickets in there as well. And some lockers just off to the right as well if you need those. Also got the Tuckateria here, little eatery, and let's go down to Scorpion Valley. 
see if there's any kind of change going on with the Scorpion Express. We can actually get closer to it now. This was actually blocked off a little bit further back last time I came here for Mardi Gras, but as you can see, it's the same sign out here. And it's barriered off up to this point, and from what I can see, yeah, still no action going on here. Yeah, it's a real shame. Can't see any sign of the train or anything at the moment. Doesn't look like there's been any progression here since I was last here a couple of months ago. Scorpion Express still down and out. Shame, as it's a really good powered coaster, this. I hope it comes back soon, but I feel like I've been saying that for a long time now. And one of the Wilderfest food selections here at the Takataria, if you do fancy it, for £7.95, you can get these State Fair corn cabets, which is roasted cabets, crushed nachos, and cheese sauce. Yeah, they look quite nice on there, actually. And now just heading into Forbidden Kingdom where you'll find Croc Drop and Tomb Blaster. Yeah, great area this. Croc Drop looking fantastic as always. Yeah, there's a lot of people that get kind of confused as to where the entrance is to Croc Drop, funnily enough. It's actually found just to the right here, next to the shop. Just as you come into Forbidden Kingdom. A lot of people completely miss this. Head around that way and end up kind of trying to join the queue line for the Express Pass here. Yeah. Main entrance is right here, and as you can see, 30 minute wait time. SPF Visa Drop Tower. Good ride that, offers some good views over the park as well. Audio all still working around here, which is good to see. Your little side stalls. Shame the ice cream shop isn't open. I quite fancied one of them. <laughs> And of course you've got the main stage down there just to the left. Dropping chicken. And of course the Zufari adventure is down this way through Wanyama village as well. That is a current wait time of 20 minutes. Rainforest race is here. And then of course Tomb Blaster, the dark ride just off to the right here. <laughs> There's Mr. Fox over there. <laughs> he seems to get everywhere. There you go, Tomb Blaster just off to the right. I'll jump on this if it's not too bad. I haven't actually vlogged this. This is a ride that you can film on. Unfortunately, it looks as though the cue board's not working though, so uh, I'll check the app, see what that is. And yeah, we might hop on. And the theming and the atmosphere inside the queue line for Tomb Blaster is still really good. Love it in here. All the lighting effects, the little flickery lanterns as well. All looks really good.
really care for my custom. footage there then of Tomb Blaster, a ride which opened here all the way back in 1987. Now it was actually re-themed in 2002 to bring in that interactive element featuring the guns on there and yeah it's a good ride it's just it's looking a little tired and I gotta be honest I preferred it back when it was known as Terra Tomb without those guns on it. It is quite a detailed ride inside so I just prefer to kind of sit back and really take it all in so yeah I wasn't kind of doing any of the shooting today just relaxing getting a little bit of on-ride footage advertised wait time 30 minutes waited nearly 50 yeah it's that recurring theme here again at Chessington of really really slow operations and even on rides that I haven't been on today you can tell that the dispatches are very very slow I don't know why it's always like that here it's not a park to come to if you're expecting stellar operations why they can't kind of replicate the operations on Mandra Mayhem throughout the rest of the park, God only knows, because that ride is absolutely fantastic in terms of operations. But the rest of the park, though, really quite slow. This ride is really good, though, but I would like to see it kind of get a little bit of a refurbishment um, sometime soon. Like I say, it's been over 20 years now since the last one, and it is starting to look a little bit tired in there. And we've got river rafts here with an advertised queue time of 35 minutes. A little log flume for the kids this one, manufactured by ABC Engineering. Opened here back in 2020. Don't be fooled though, this can be quite a soaker this one on that final drop. Yeah, good little ride there, swell theme, and you can also see some animals around here if you're lucky as well. But yeah, if you're an adult accompanying your child, be prepared to get potentially quite wet on that final drop. He wants to get things a bit glorious He's traveling around with no clothes on Tomorrow I count for some reason Never happen to sweet her Not very sensible La 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 Hey I predict a fire now then and you just saw some highlights from the croc and rollers and now we're over onto monkey swinger the 2000 zero wave swinger queue time looks to be around 15 to 20 minutes currently and sadly the water fountains are still switched off now these actually haven't been active since this time last summer which is a shame hopefully they're just undergoing some maintenance and will be back on I know we've not had the best summer this year in the UK, however it is a shame to see them not working. Great wave swinger this though, monkey swinger. Now there's another cue board that's not working for Cobra, the Zampella Disco here. Current wait time though is 75 minutes. Yeah, I think I'll be giving this one a skip, done plenty of Zampella Discos before, including Cobra, 
and at 75 minutes that's a bit too long for me so uh, we'll give this one a miss today and heading into the land of the tiger now for a ride on tiger rock current advertised queue time is 30 minutes although i don't think that's entirely accurate queues going all the way back here i have a feeling that board is going to get updated very very soon yeah that's not a 30 minute wait and another cue board not working here for Tiger Rock. Still advertised at 30 minutes though. Let's get on and see how accurate that is. just had my ride on Tiger Rock then. Advertised wait time 30 minutes, waited 55 and to be honest yeah looking at the queue line from off ride it was clear that it was around 50 minutes to an hour. Just a little bit late in updating that queue board. I was actually queuing for about 30 minutes before they did update the queue board in the end so a little bit slow on that. However it was an expected queue time anyway. Yeah this ride opened in 1987 manufactured by Mac Rise and was actually known as Dragon River which then turned to Dragon Falls and then the re-theme they had in 2018 it then became Tiger Rock with this whole uh, land of the tiger area uh, some footage there of the tigers a little bit shy so only just a very small snippet today great ride though didn't get too wet not on the actual splash anyway it's more the guns just behind me here uh, the little effects that uh, are pretty heavily manned today yeah it got me a little bit wet on that final uh, kind of curve before you get to the station there gonna head over to Festival Field now to check out all the food wagons for the Wilder Fest event as it's starting to get towards lunchtime I'm getting a bit peckish and we're just outside the Burnt Stub Mansion now then which is where you can find Room on the Broom a magical journey and as you can see this cue board's actually working five minutes is the current wait time for that yeah no theming on the front this year for Wilder Fest though which is a little bit of a shame all the banners have since been removed for Mardi Gras that were across the front here but not actually been replaced with anything and what's more interesting is there's no food trucks this year on what was Festival Field last year. That's a little bit of a shame because this area had some good vibes and a good atmosphere. We had all the food trucks kind of around here and just in this kind of general area there was a little, st a little stage show of a juggler and a magician and all that kind of stuff. Music was pumping out and yeah it was a really really nice kind of vibey area. So for them not to continue it this year is a little bit of a shame. You've still got the animal show times that take place in here. Um, but uh, that's all that they'll find here um, during this event. Now I don't know if it's because maybe they knew that we were going to have a particularly dire summer this year in the UK. Parking this morning was particularly bad, all the cars kind of sliding everywhere in the mud. So maybe they thought it best not to have everything on the grass here. You'll find the food trucks for this event over on what is Mardi Grub Avenue during Mardi Gras, just opposite the main stage. So we'll go take a look at those now. And this year down at the lodges entrance we don't have the big lettering that we had last year for Wilder Fest. That's all been moved down to the explorers entrance as we saw earlier. However, there's some great photo opportunities to be had here with the two logos. One for Chessington and of course the Wilder Fest logo just on the back of this pink heart here which looks great. They've got all the kind of the vinyl here as well and all the music notes. Yeah, it looks really colourful, really, really nice. They've got all these flowers that kind of wrap around this railing here as well. Always a beautiful area for some photo opportunities down here at the lodge's entrance. Yeah, really, really nice. And just to the right of the lodge's entrance, you of course have the entrance to the sea life. Yeah, really nice area this. Love all these shells down here. And the sea life itself has actually undergone a recent refurbishment as well. We covered that in the last vlog. Yeah, definitely worth going in if you've not seen it already. And yeah, it all still looks really nice and tidy out the front here as well. Yeah, I love all this. Yeah, it looks really nice. And Chessington also has a number of zoos situated within its park, including this children's zoo, which is called Yoohoo. And here you can come in here and get up nice, close and personal with a variety of animals, including sheep, goats and even donkeys. Yeah, they've got a nice variety of animals here at Chessington, including penguins, sea lions, reptiles, 
lots of stuff to see here and of course the sea life that we saw earlier there we go hey, he's eating some hay how you doing <laughs> And we're down here at Wilder Feast now then, which is also known as Mardi Gras Avenue during the Mardi Gras event. This is basically opposite the main stage. As you can see, we've got the ape here, all themed up nicely for Wilder Fest. Looks really nice. Here we go and take a look at the food options now. And as you can see, again, like Mardi Gras, it's actually quite limited. Much fewer food stalls here than we had for that event. However, it's good to see the Ben & Jerry's van open in action here. Yeah, that's really cool been a while since we've seen that it's all nicely decorated here of course got all the bunting out all the flags that one needs a little bit of help though <laughs> but in terms of food though we've got this Indian street food event here event shack whatever you want to call it <laughs> you can get your chicken tikka your korma vegetable korma and you got palau rice two naan breads there and various dips as well and also soft drinks for three pound looking about eight pound for a curry and curries do smell good, right? This one is no exception. Smells really, really nice. All much like Thorpe Park, we've got the curly fries here. Eight pounds for your dirty fries, six for your standard, and three pound again for your soft drinks. Obviously the dirty fries are loaded with guacamole and salsa. And a choice of grated or hot cheese sauce. Yeah, the curly fries at Thorpe Park were actually really tasty, so uh, yeah, I might grab myself a tray of those. And third and finally, you've got your churros here. A little bit of a, des a dessert stall for you. They also do waffles as well. Hot and tasty waffle for £7 with two toppings. And there's all your toppings there. Or a fully loaded waffle for £10, and again, £3 for a soft drink. I'm not sure where the price is for the churros are. Ah, they're on this side. Hot and tasty churros for seven pounds. Yeah, not too bad for prices. Pretty standard for theme parks. To be honest, we're at a point now where it really is cheaper to just bring your own food. Bring yourself a nice packed lunch, sit down on one of the tables and just enjoy. You've also got a nice temporary tattoo and face painting stand here as well. Yeah, it is, uh, it is a nice area, but just a little bit disappointed at the lack of choice. There was much more choice last year over at Festival Field, but still, a tray of curly fries or a nice curry can't really go wrong. And a little bit of off-ride footage there then of Dragon's Fury, currently on a 60-minute wait time as we head into the final area of the park, Wild Woods. Yeah, let's take a look at the Gruffalo River Ride Adventure. Now, I assume the queue board for this is also going to be broken. I have just checked the app. It is currently on a 40-minute wait. And yeah, it looks as though the queue board's broken for this one as well. That's a shame. Vampire is currently down, but last time I checked, that had a 100-minute queue time. Yeah, it's been pretty busy here in the park today. It is the middle of summer holidays though, so it is to be expected. However, usually you'll find if you come down on a weekend, it can be slightly quieter than if you come down on a weekday. But like I said earlier, we had that heavy rain yesterday, probably put a lot of people off coming here. And so they've all decided to come down today. Yeah, queue times have been quite long today. We're going to check Vampire out. I do have a Mandrill Mayhem reservation that is actually valid now. It expires in 30 minutes, so I'm going to have to head to that first. I may not get a ride on Vampire today. That doesn't happen very often when I come here. <laughs>
And so Vampire reopened with a 50 minute queue time. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna get that ride today. Gonna make Mandrill Mayhem my final ride of the day. Let's jump on. Oh, the second wing coaster in the UK. I've just had my final ride of the day then on of course Mandrill Mayhem the world's only Jumanji themed roller coaster and only the second wing coaster here in the UK oh and there he goes absolutely fantastic managed to get uh, my favorite position on the ride as well which is that backward facing row the launch into the spike then through the station is absolutely sublime and then into that really slow kind of inline twist 55 feet up the upwards helix around the Jaguar statue and then back again in reverse. It really is absolutely fantastic. Like I said in the previous vlog though, there is kind of a, I don't even know what the word to use is, a little bit of a bounce, a little bit of a, a jolt seems a little bit too harsh, but there's something there that in my opinion, probably shouldn't be there. I was on the outside seat, which maybe contributes to it a little bit, but considering that this is B&M, the creme de la creme, uh, premier, really, uh, roller coaster manufacturer, or one of them at least, yeah, I feel like it shouldn't really be there, considering this roller coaster is only a couple of months into its operation. Something just feels not quite right. I feel like that should get looked at, hopefully rectified in the near future. However, even so, it's an absolutely fantastic ride. The second wing coaster in the UK, absolutely brilliant. And just heading to the park exit now then on what has overall been a fantastic day here again at Chessington's World of Adventures. Yeah, in terms of the event itself, Wilderfest, it's been great, arguably a lot better than it was last year, uh, certainly in terms of entertainment at least. Of course, you had those three new acts on that main stage, all of which were great. You had, of course, DJ Sharky back with all the foam and that awesome looking new stage. My favorite, however, was actually found over on the Banyan stage, the Croc and Rollers. Yeah, they were fantastic. If you like kind of 80s, 90s rock and roll, uh, yeah, those three guys on that stage really put on an impressive show. Really, really happy with that. Um, yeah, a little bit of a lack of food options this year as mentioned earlier however the food that was here yeah it was pretty good it was acceptable and you know pretty average theme park prices as well uh, across the rest of the park uh, it's it's those operations here again it's an, a reoccurring theme here at chessington and it's such a shame uh, you know i just wish they could replicate you know <laughs> the the operations on mandrel mayhem across the rest of the park because that again was absolutely fantastic across the rest of the park though you had a lot of a lot of downtime today in a busy period cue boards that weren't working when they were working they were inaccurate you've had empty seats going out on things like tomb blaster and tiger rock vampire as well i was witnessing empty seats going around on that it's just not good enough um you know now the staff aren't necessarily to blame i think there's still a shortage here you have like one member of staff doing the whole thing you know checking restraints getting people through the air gates dispatching the ride which you know yeah, there needs to be more than one person uh, manning the rides. Uh, that, that certainly doesn't help in terms of throughput. I say it every time I come here though, and nothing seems to change. Uh, the operations here, they're not good, unfortunately. I really, really hope it is something that does get improved in the future. However, yet again, they're still not that great. Um, but overall, like I say, it has been a fantastic ride here. I've got lots of rides in. Um, didn't miss out on Vampire, unfortunately. Mandrel Mayhem has been extremely busy throughout today. Uh, so if you are coming here during the summer, make sure you get your reservation on that ride as soon as you can, because you don't want to miss out on what is the best ride at the park, isn't it? I mean, let's be honest. Um, in terms of the future vlogs coming up here on Adventure Planet. We will be in Oakwood theme park over in Wales where we'll be checking out the newly refurbished Megaphobia. Will that be back to being the best wooden coaster in the UK? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. We're going to head over there. That's the next vlog coming up right here on Adventure Planet. But from Chessington, I want to thank you so much for watching. And as always, happy riding everybody. I'll see you over in Wales. <laughs>